please stand for the presentation of callers. Thank you to members of the JROTC from Innovation High School and also to Gage Draymond, who is a music major here at the college. Uh, please welcome uh, Tyler Roberts up as she sings our national anthem. If you are next to a chair, please go ahead and have a seat. <laughs> if you're not, keep moving. Welcome to our time today, this, uh, this morning. I want to give uh, time to ask you again to please give a round of applause for our singers as well as our uh, ROTC folks as well as our great uh, trumpet. As we uh, prepared uh, for this event, as I was talking to some folks about um, being able to celebrate our veterans today, and uh, the more I thought about us continuing to have this event here outdoors, I go, wait, wait a minute, it's cold and it's snow and it's, oh my goodness. But thinking about what so many went through for our country and uh, how they paid incredible prices, uh, some with uh, their lives, some with being gone from home for such a long time. Those who are still paying price for us at this very moment, enduring a whole lot worse conditions than we are right now. Uh, it's the least that we can do to take time out of our day to be out here and celebrate and honor our veterans. Uh, I want to thank all of you and all those who are part of this great institution, not only our faculty and staff, uh, but our students who are, uh, have served and who are serving in our armed forces at this very moment or who have served in the past, please understand and know that we are honored to have as part of our GRCC family, whether it be faculty, staff, or students, how honored we are and how uh, important it is that we know that we never, never forget the sacrifices that have been made and continue to be made on behalf of us so that we can have this opportunity to live in this country where we have the opportunity to work at an institution like GRCC, to live in a city like Grand Rapids, to enjoy ourselves in a state like Michigan, and to be a part of this great country. And so our thanks to our servicemen and women who have been and continue to be in service to this. We welcome you 
and thank you for being at this ceremony this morning. Thank you very much. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. Um, I'm not, thank you, Dr. Pink. I'm not really sure what he's talking about. It seems to be beautiful weather out here. Uh, glad to see so many people out in their best winter coats. Um, I'll be quick, I promise. Uh, a couple of stories and then um, homework assignment, of course, because it's college, and then we'll be on our way. I wanted to introduce myself. Uh, my name is Phoenix Noel. I was a chief petty officer in the United States Navy served aboard submarines. Um, classic story, how you got into the Navy, wanted to get out of home. Um, went to join the military, didn't really care which branch, Air Force was never in. Uh, went to join the Navy and you could just tell that they are such a huge group of friends, even in the office. And it, that's what attracted me to that. I did learn over the course of my career that that was the military in general every branch, every service member, um, and I expanded into federal service. There's a camaraderie there, there's a brotherhood there that really sets the example for what we as a country should be doing. And I thank God every time I think about it. I met so many amazing people from so many walks of life. It really was that experience that taught me how a diverse group of people can accomplish so much more than any one person can possibly do. Um, I wanted to tell a quick story about uh, one of those diverse individuals. His name was Christopher Garcia, one of the smartest men I ever served with, one of the nicest and friendliest people I ever served with. And unfortunately, while he was serving, he did end up paying the ultimate price. Um, so I want to take that moment to, to kind of remind everybody that this is no joke, that there are people out there that are sacrificing everything for us and for our rights here in the United States. So, sorry. Chris Garcia has served with distinct honor, and I'm proud to remember him today. And I appreciate you giving me that time. Here at the college, I want to um, encourage everyone to think about that, to thank the veteran that you see sitting next to you. Um, they typically don't wear anything on their sleeves anymore. So if you can't find one directly, put up a poster, put up a social media post, just thank them for what they do. And they are out there today, they are out there right now, standing in the cold, like we are today. So I appreciate you remembering them. Um, that's all I had, thank you. Everybody. I'm Chris Nauer. I served the United States Army for five years, and um, I have this lovely poem to read to you today. You may not know me the first time we meet. I'm just another you see on the street, but I am the reason you walk and breathe free. I am the reason for your liberty. I am a veteran. I work in the local factory all day. I own the restaurant just, just down the way. I sell your insurance. I start your IV. I've got the best looking grandkids you'll ever see. I'm your grocer, your banker, your child school teacher. I'm your plumber, your barber, and your family's preacher. But there's a part of me you don't know very well. Just listen a moment, I have a story to tell. I am a veteran. I joined the service while still in my teens. I traded my prom, my prom dress for camouflage greens. I'm the first in my family to do something like this. I followed my father like he followed his. Defying my fears and hiding my doubt, I married my sweetheart before I shipped out. I missed Christmas, then Easter, the birth of my son, but I know, but I knew I was doing what had to be done. I served on the battlefront, I served on the base. I bound up the wounded and begged for God's grace. I gave orders to fire, I followed commands. I marched into conflict in far distant lands. In the jungle, the desert, on mountains and shores in bunkers, in tents, on dank earthen floors. While I, fought, while I fought on the ground, in the air, on the sea, my family and friends were home praying for me. For the land of the free and the home of the brave, I faced my demons in foxholes and caves. 
than one dreaded day without drummer or fife. I lost an arm, my buddy lost his life. I came home and moved on, but forever was changed. The perils of war in my memory remain. I don't really say much, I don't feel like I can, but I left home a child and came home a man. There are thousands like me, thousands more who are gone, but their legacy lives as time marches on. White crosses in rows and names carved in queue remind us of what these brave souls had to do. I'm part of a fellowship, a strong, mighty band of each man and each woman who has served this great land. And when old glory waves, I stand proud, I stand tall. I helped keep her flying over you, over all. I am a veteran. At this time, I'd like to uh, invite any veterans of any of our armed services to please come forward and take the wreath to place it over by the flagpole in our memorial. Any veterans or active service members, please join us. Well, thank you for coming out today. Um, at this time, I'd like to invite everyone to our reception in G2, uh, room 55 afterward as we celebrate Veterans Day and our veterans. Uh, please take a moment to place your flag underneath the memorial and we'll join us for celebration afterward. Thank you for coming out today. Thank you. 